Hello Taurus, this is Monica with the Lynx Tarot. Thank you so much for being here. We are covering love in this reading, both couples and singles. Feel free to check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node, whatever placement you are drawn to. There could be additional messages there for you. And we're jumping right in here with the Whispers of Love. What do we have for Taurus? We have Speak the Language of Love. Focus on that throat chakra and your heart chakra. Speak the language of love. Speak in a loving way. Be careful what comes out of your mouth. Be careful of the tone of it. Be careful of sarcasm. Loving words have the power to change lives, including your own. Okay, that's powerful. Both couples and singles, that's powerful. We have back to what you love, reevaluate your desires. Okay, reevaluate what you love to do in your life. Maybe your hobbies, interests, reevaluate that and get back to what you love to do. So for singles, you might meet someone in the, that does what you like to do, right? So like say you like to play tennis or you love art or something like that. You might meet someone in one of those scenarios. <coughs> and we have forgiveness. Nothing is gained by holding on to past disappointments. Nothing is to be gained by holding on to past disappointments, okay? So it doesn't mean to excuse anyone who has hurt you or harmed you. But the message I'm getting here for both couples and singles is that you have to get, you don't have to do anything. But um, if you want to move on and have change, it's important that you reflect on letting go of mistakes of the past, um, things you regret that happened, or maybe things you regret that you said or did, or um, maybe you, you've regretted or you are regretting decisions that you have made. Um, <clears throat> it's important to to let go. I'm picturing the five of cups where the three cups are spilled over. There's a lot of grief, sadness, <clears throat> crying over spilled milk, um, not to minimize any pain you might've been through, but there's two cups that are still standing. So in order to find that union, you need to find it with yourself. Um, letting go, finding a way to let go of regret, whether you're coupled or single. All right, Taurus. What else for Taurus? This is the Tarot of the Owls. Oh, I'm gonna pop out here. Oh, here you go, Taurus. It's your card, the Empress. The beautiful, abundant, peaceful Empress. Speaking the language of love, knowing that you are a beautiful being. You see beauty, you create beauty. Embrace that part of you. Even though we're capable of using our words in aggressive ways or not nice ways or sarcastic ways, we don't have to. Nobody has to. We have the power to come from our hearts. And if you come from a place of confidence, confidence as opposed to arrogance, like true confidence, that means like you're comfortable with yourself. You know that you have a lot to give. And when you express yourself, it comes out more lovingly. It comes out without judgment. And sarc sarcasm is judging. When stuff comes out of our mouths in a sarcastic manner, um, it shows insecurity, judgment, and then it gets the other person on the defensive. So let's remember, speak the language of love. Loving words have the power to change lives, including your own. All right, one more shuffle. or Taurus. Okay, beautiful. So getting back to what you love to do will bring immense healing. For those of you who have an online business, um, doing what you're passionate about will attract attention. Um, you know, if you build it, they will come type thing. So your customers will come your way if you do what you love, get yourself out there, learn about marketing. Um, you might find someone in your business world, if you have your own business, um, who you know, you're know you working with and it's not like you work at the same company. You're collaborating on something. It's someone maybe you hire for a small part of your project or something and you really click. 
So, um, you know, that's for some of you. For others of you, for couples, it's important to um, not lose our sense of identity being in a in a relationship. So all of who we are should not be identified by the the relationship, by the couplehood or whatever you would call it. It's important to have your own individual interests, desires, um, activities. It's important to have that too. If you like to read certain books, like a certain genre or something, and your partner doesn't, that doesn't mean you shouldn't read that because that's what you like. If that's not something you have in common that you would talk about, like you'd read, say you'd read the same book and then talk about it, if that's not something you have in common, so be it. Do what you love to do, but do something with your partner that you have in common too, right? Whether it's a sport or another kind of artistic thing or a hike or something like that. Oh, beautiful. Oops, we got too many pop-outs here. Hold on. I wanted to grab that because it was the Ten of Cups, but I got too many flipped over. So let's just give this another little shuffle. So what do we get with forgiveness? Forgiveness will bring peace, but you have to decide like what your definition of forgiveness is, right? Like you can't just say, I forgive you. It's something, something you process emotionally. Okay, we have the Knight of Swords. That's interesting, the Knight of Swords with forgiveness. So you can't just be like, I forgive you, okay, fine. No, that's not what forgiveness is. Forgiveness is like coming to a place of confidence and peace within yourself. This is my definition, okay, where you're not excusing that other person um, but you know, like a past person, say whoever it was, can, it can be anybody, family member, ex friend, or whatever. Um, you're not excusing what they did, but you come to a place of healing, peace, and forgiveness, like in your heart, or you know, where that person doesn't matter anymore, right? But if this is someone you're in a relationship with, you have to make this decision what you want. If you, if you want the relationship to heal. And the other person, of course, has to do their part too. So be careful of rash words. Like, yeah, I forgive you. Or, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. You know, like that kind of thing. Yeah, sorry about that. Didn't mean it. Well, that's sarcasm. That tone is sarcasm. If you say, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to you know, say something a certain way, or I didn't mean to disrespect you by, you know, doing such and such. I see how that could have hurt your feelings. I'm terribly sorry. I'll be very conscious not to allow that to happen again. Like that's genuine, that's coming from the heart. But by going, yeah, sorry about that, or sorry you feel that way, that's sarcastic, it's not genuine, right? So that's not forgiveness and it's not asking for true forgiveness. So we need to be careful of that, whether you're a couple or single. Speak the language of love, the Empress, and then we have the Seven of Swords, which is really interesting. So uh, back to the sarcasm thing. I keep getting stuck on that, so it must mean something. Just watch, watch your words. Um, the Seven of Swords can have to do with lying, cheating, stealing. So sarcasm could be trying to get away with, could be you or another person. Someone is trying to get away with their behavior they're saying they're sorry, but they're not sorry because their behavior hasn't changed. They don't really believe they did anything wrong or they don't really care that you're hurt or they judge you for daring to say that you're hurt because they want to do what they want to do. Or it, it could be you, I, you know, you might be like, I don't know why this other person has a problem with me or a problem with the way I do such and such. That's just too bad. So I'm going to keep doing things the way I want to do them. But I'm going to just tell this person, sorry about such and such, or um, I forgive you, or will you forgive me for such and such, but you really don't intend on changing, or, or the other person doesn't intend on changing. Um, we need to look out for that here because that's not, not the language of love. In the language of love card here, like I'm not saying it means you have to be with this person you have your eye on, or that um, let me go on here. I'm sorry, I lost my train of thought. But it'll come back to me if it was important. 
The Seven of Swords could also be, here we go, forming a strategy with your partner or, or about finding a partner. It's time to go about things in a different way. And see the beautiful Empress right here, um, especially for you, Taurus. Get back in touch with your true self, your true, beautiful, confident self who has a lot of love to give. Just put it in the right places. Back to what you love with the star and look, we have the two of cups. Okay, so somehow, whether you're coupled or single, doing what you love will bring you to this place of love and connection with someone else. Because you're comfortable with yourself and it's kind of like um, leading by example too. You know, maybe your partner will you know, get back to a hobby they once enjoyed when they see you doing your thing. Or if you're single, maybe you'll find somebody in that kind of scenario doing what you love. Um, either way, we have intense healing with the star. And again, with like business, if you have your own business, you're like being seen, you're getting more attention, you might connect with a romantic, you know, connection. That was kind of redundant, but you might connect romantically with someone through business somehow, but not like you work in the same place every single day. It might be an easier way to connect with someone. Um, also, there could be an Aquarius that you're dealing with. All right, so forgiveness, the Knight of Swords and the Six of Cups. Yeah, so the Six of Cups could be, you know, connecting with someone from your past. This, this could represent that. It could represent a loving gift. Um... Uh, an olive branch, okay, an olive branch. Okay, so whatever this means, if this is something you'd like to share, if this resonates with you, please comment below, that would be great. Also, if you're interested in my Patreon page, there's a waiting list, there's a link below. I'm thinking, Taurus, I'm thinking about um, putting a sample Patreon reading all on my channel so that people can get an idea what it's like over there. But I haven't gotten any feedback if anyone's interested. I don't have many people on my waiting list yet. So let me know here or there if you're interested and I will continue to record for Patreon. Oh my, I gotta show you these together with forgiveness again. Nothing is gained by holding on to past disappointments and a crushed flower still gives off a sweet scent. So for some of you coupled, there is still love there. There is still love and this can be worked out. All right, wow. Speak the language of love, forgiveness, yeah. So someone might have made a mistake in a relationship. They might have tried to hide it because they were embarrassed, thought you'd freak out. Um, And there, there could have been a big blow up. You, you bust them. There could have been a big blow up. But it's something that can be worked out. So um, Taurus, we need to be careful when we get to the point where we're really angry to not close down. To not make a rash. So, so we don't make a rash decision like, you know, that's it. I'm cutting this person off. Sometimes that's necessary, but not always. So maybe for some of you, be open to communication from this person who might be coming to you with an apology. It's up to you if you can accept them you know, back. That's up to you, of course, but um, I think they deserve a chance to say their piece. Even if they don't deserve it, um, you deserve to hear it and then decide if this is genuine or not. Um, for singles, Someone is leaving something important off of their dating profile. Okay, I should look out for that. Strength, don't let weeds and thistles cultivate in your garden, okay? So be careful of harsh words because harsh words can grow into many thorns. And we have success, bloom wherever you are planted. All right, Tara, so if you're working on a business or some kind of project, um, keep doing what you're doing. Don't give up because you're, you are going to bloom. Okay, so this is the, no, 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 mystical wisdom. Yeah, go with the flow, let things happen. 
try not put so much pressure on yourself and competition summon courage and self-confidence yes yeah, so i was saying true confidence which is different than arrogance right arrogance like shows like fear and and that's where the sarcasm comes up so someone has healthy competition in work but that's actually a good sign this is angel answers if you have a question you can reflect on it now but you don't have to just take what resonates we have don't stop. Yeah, keep doing what you're doing, Taurus. You're on the right path here. Romance. Well, that's very positive. Whether you're in a committed relationship or single, there's romance in the air here. Healing to relationship energy. Okay. Healing to a partnership. Healing to your dating life. And something within the next few weeks, you're going to start to see positive results within the next few weeks. All right, Taurus, thank you so much for being here. Please hit that like button if this resonated. Share, subscribe, all those good things, and I will see you again soon.